Welcome to the first instalment of A Peddler's Tale Story. In this book are the tales I have gathered from my audiences as I toured the marches in 2019. I am Silver Joan, mistress of the yarn, collector of the unexpected, conjurer of the imagination. And my first story is The Moped That Outran a Ghost. When I was a teenager in the 1970s, I used to get about on a red Yamaha moped, known to most people as a fizzy. My moped engine was restricted so that it could only travel about 35 miles an hour. However, with a little bit of tinkering, it could be reversed, and its little 50cc engine could be made to reach speeds of 65 miles an hour. This would make the whole bike shudder and shake, like a real bone shaker. And its little engine would scream out so that it could be heard coming from miles away. I was very proud of it and I traveled all over the county. Late one night, returning from a gathering of other moped kids at Orton Village Hall, I decided to travel home to Wigmore via the Goggin. The Goggin is a wild place and it has narrow lanes. That night, the moon was bright and I could have easily turned off my headlights and still seen my way home. As I reached the quarry at the bottom of Whitestone Road, I could hear something padding very fast behind me. I looked over my shoulder and I could see the shadow of something running behind my bike. At first, I thought it must be a deer, but no deer would have stayed. It would have been frightened by the screeching of the engine. This thing was chasing me and it was gaining fast and it was big. I looked at my speedometer. I was traveling at 40 miles an hour. What animal could run at speeds like this? I looked over my shoulder again to see that it was definitely an animal, but I couldn't focus long enough to tell what sort of creature it was. I knew that there was a straight bit of road ahead of me. It it runs alongside the Brighthall Common. On this road, I would be able to open up my moped and perhaps outrun whatever the shadow was. When I reached the straight bit, I opened up my throttle, reaching 60 miles an hour. I remember thinking not even a cheetah could run that fast. But to my horror, at a glance, I could see that the creature was still on my tail. I put the chin of my helmet onto the tank of my bike to gain maximum speed. I whizzed through that lane that night. I did not dare look behind again, not until I was safely home. To this day, I do not know what was chasing me, but thanks to my fizzy, I was able to outrun it. Years later, I heard the story of the black dog at Hergest and the tales of a black dog that haunted Herefordshire. As I said, not even a cheetah can run at 65 miles an hour. So what was it? Perhaps it was a ghostly black hound? I know. As I said, no earthly creature could run at that speed. Oh, green grow the leaves on the acre.
country. Oh, who will give a silver button to me? With this wrangling and this jangling, we never shall agree. But who will give a button for a silver story? 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, who will give a button for a silver story?